first. Okay, so you've got your calculation for the river width, all right? Um, you need to divide that by 10. So uh, mine was 3 meters and 44 centimeters. So divided by 10, I've got 34 centimeters. You need to start at the river left bank. And we're always talking about river when we're looking downstream. So left bank is that side. But you want to start at zero, okay? So on the river bank, and then go 34 centimeters, and then double that, 68 centimeters, and so on and so forth. A couple of things to note. If you are using your meter rule side on, you may not be able to see that from there, but you are causing a little bit of turbulence along the river uh, with the water, and so you can't read it as easy, okay? So you want your meter rule with the flow, all right? The next thing to think about is if you are stood upstream, I know I've got my back to you now, but if you are stood upstream and you are meter, uh, measuring the river depth, then you are potentially affecting the flow there again, okay? So you want to be stood to the side or downstream of your measurement and with your meter rule adjacent to the flow, okay? So starting on the left bank, you're going at zero and you're measuring the river depth, 15 centimeters, okay? And you'll tell your partner there to write that in. Then you're going 34 centimeters along, you're finding that point, you put in the meter rule in again and 26 centimeters, okay? And then keep going all the way. And if your maths is correct, which I'm sure it is, you'll end up at the other riverbank.